Hi, this is Barry from HomePokerTourney.com with a review of the Classic Tournament Dealer button from DBDealer.com. This is a dealer button, something similar to this, that can be used to signify who the dealer is at your poker table. The thing about this dealer button is it includes a built-in blinds timer that also shows the present small and big blind. As you can see the button is turned on simply by pressing the start pause button it automatically begins at your first level, level 1 a 30 minute blind level, that's what I have it set to small blind of 5 and a big blind of 10 that alternates on the display down here in the bottom right. To begin your tournament you simply press the start button and the timer begins for your first blinds level. You can also pause the button during play by pressing the start pause button. At the end of this blinds level the dealer button will beep several times and then automatically proceed to the next level where the countdown timer will automatically begin uh, so basically once you press the start button and your timer begins you almost don't have to touch it again until the end of your tournament. There are four buttons on the classic tournament dealer button. There's a bet button which is used to put people on the clock or, or limit the amount of time that they can uh, limit the amount of time they have to make their betting decision. A start pause button an up down arrow button that's used to program the timer as well as a P button that again is used to program the timer. The buttons are, are a bubble type of, of button. They're pretty well recessed right into the into the body of the uh, of the button. They can't easily be pressed unless you actually use your, your fingernail and press down hard on them while the timer is running of course these two buttons don't work at all. They're used during programming mode. The start stop button will stop the timer or pause the timer and then begin the timer again. You can use that if you have to make a, a ruling during uh, your blinds level that might take up several minutes and you want to stop your, your timer while you make that ruling. You can also put players on the clock by pressing the bet button which begins a countdown timer the uh, countdown timer for the bet clock can be 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or 90 seconds. After a player has made their, their betting decision, you want to stop the, the bet clock, you just press the same button again. It reverts back to the original blinds timer, which of course has kept running in the background. It's not like the, the blinds timer will, will pause or halt while someone is on the clock. The cost of the Classic Tournament Dealer button is $14.95 for a, a button like this, the standard button. There are also customized buttons available for a price of $17.95. As you can see down here at the bottom, you can put your own graphics or logo or whatever you want down there. Shipping per button is $4.95 within North America. If you want expedited shipping a little bit faster it's nine dollars and ninety five cents. Shipping outside North America is ten to twenty percent of the total cost of all your buttons and that depends on what country you're living in and where it's being shipped to so please contact dbdealer for dbdealer.com for further information about shipping costs outside of North America. If you purchase two buttons, shipping is free. Also, there's a special discount offer for Home Poker Tourney visitors and readers. You get free shipping. So that $4.95 uh, will not apply if you use the special Home Poker Tourney discount code of HPT. So if you're going to order one of these dealer buttons, make sure you use that special discount code of HPT to receive free shipping on your classic tournament dealer button. Here's how to program the classic tournament dealer button. First you power it on by pressing the start pause button. 
the button starts up in play mode automatically so what you want to do is switch to program mode you do that by holding down this P button for a couple of seconds so we're now in program mode you can see that the minutes digit is flashing you, you cannot set the the seconds so your blind levels have to be one minute two minute twenty minutes thirty minutes it cannot be in increments of seconds it has to be in increments of minutes so the the minute digits are flashing right now I don't want to program that so I'm gonna to skip to the the next input digit which is the hours you do that by pressing the P button when you press the P button it automatically cycles through the various options that you can set so I want to set let's say I want 30 minute levels press the up button three times so there I have it set for a 30 minute uh, 30 minute blind level at level one you can see the level written at the top there I'll press the P button to go to the next input which is the big blind so as you can see you can have a big blind of up to 999,000 let's say I want a big blind the first level will be 10 so I, I don't want to change that first digit there so I'll press the P button to go to the next digit then the up arrow button so now my first big blind is set at 10 I don't want to make any more changes not that I can anyways but I want to go to the next blinds level so what I do then is press the start pause button and as you can see the level jumped to level 2 and everything's automatically entered in again so it stays at 30 minute blind levels and as you can see the big blind is still at 10 so I, I want to keep my 30 minute level but I want to change the big blind to something a little bit larger the small blinds are automatically set to half of the big blind there's no way that you can change that so for the first level of the big blind will be 10 the small blind is automatically set at 5 so for this level 2 I want to change that big blind so I'll press the P button a couple of times now that the 1 is flashing I want to change that to a 2 so the second blind level will be set at a 30 minute length and a big blind of 20 to go on to the next level you press start pause you can see we're now at level 3 again 30 minute blind level 20 minute big blind let's say I want to drop my blind levels down to 20 minutes now I press the P to advance the digits by one and I want to change that to 20 minutes now there's two ways you can do this I can press the up arrow uh, nine times and it will cycle around from three to four to nine to zero to two but instead if you hold the up down arrow for a couple of seconds now you can see that down arrow there now the up down button will make the digits go down instead of up so there's my 20 minute blind level I'll press P to advance to the blinds amount that's at 2 now if I press the the arrow it will go down again it will go down to 1 but I don't really want to do that let's say I want to go up to 50 so I'll, I'll hold the arrow the up down button now you can see the arrow is pointing up so when I press the up down button it will advance the digits upwards so there's my fifty dollar big blind if I want to go to the next level press the start pause button and it goes to level four and again now it keeps the 20 second big blinds or 20 second lengths and it keeps the fifty dollar big blind in there so that's the way you program your levels you go you can add up to 25 levels I won't bother going through all of them instead what I will do is I will uh, stop programming mode go back into play mode which you do by holding the P button and there you can see where you're at level one 30 minutes blind 
with a big bet of big blind of 10 and a small blind of 5. So those are the basics for programming the classic tournament dealer button. Now that we've programmed our classic tournament dealer button, it's ready to be used for a poker tournament. To begin our timer, you simply power it on by pressing the start pause button. The blinds levels that you have programmed into the timer remain in the timer even after it's been powered off. So once you program in your different blinds levels, up to 25 levels, uh, it, it stays in the memory of the button and there's no need to reprogram it. So to begin the timer, we simply press the start pause button again. And the timer starts counting down from the, in this case here, it's a two minutes blinds level, simply for demonstration purposes. If you need to pause the button, for instance, if you have to make a ruling at the, the poker table and you know it'll take a couple of minutes, you should pause your blinds timer in that case, which you do simply by pressing the start pause button. As you can hear, it makes a beep every time you press a button. So if one of the players at your table happens to be playing with your button, uh, you'll be alerted to that simply because of the beep. To begin the timer again, you simply press the start pause button. And you can do that numerous times throughout your blinds level. This button will beep once when there is 60 seconds remaining in your level. And then it will beep once at three seconds, two seconds, one second remaining in your level. And then it'll, it will emit one long beep when your blinds level is complete. So that's about all there is to it. Once you get the timer going, there's not really much you have to do to it. We're coming up on the one minute warning here. If you have a player that's taking too much time and you want to put the player on the clock, as it's called, because they're taking too much time and you, uh, you want to limit the amount of time they have to make their decision, you can use the bet key on the top of the, the button. You have your choice between 30, 60, and 90 seconds. In this case, we'll use 30 seconds. The bet clock will count down from 30 seconds to 0 seconds. It will emit a beep. And by that time, your slow player will have had to make their poker decision, their betting decision. Once they make their decision and you want to get rid of this clock, you can simply press the bet button again. And we're back to the original blinds timer, which of course remains counting down even while we're in our bet clock. So we're coming down to about five seconds here. So we'll start hearing some beeps. and then the one long beep at the end of the blinds level and then as you can see we automatically went to level two and the blinds timer started off our level which in this case is 30 minutes long again the big bet the big blind is shown at the bottom and the small blind is also shown we can stop it again start it again but basically once you turn it on and get your timer going you can almost leave it untouched until the finish of your tournament. After your, your tournament, um, after you've played all your levels, you can either turn the button off by holding the start pause button for a couple of seconds, it shuts off, or the button will shut off automatically on its own after not being used for 90 minutes. So that's about all there is to using the timer. It's extremely, extremely simple to use. Here's what the classic tournament dealer button sounds like uh, at the end of a level. Press the start button to begin the timer. I've got the blind set at two minutes here just for demonstration purposes. We'll begin the timer. As you can see, it begins counting down from two minutes. The button will beep once when there is one minute remaining in the blinds level. And it will beep once for each of the final five seconds of the blinds level. And then one loud beep at the end of the blinds level. The timer will then automatically proceed to the next level and begin the timer. So in about 33 seconds from now we'll hear one beep. 
And then a minute after that, we'll hear a series of beeps for the end of the blinds level. In the meantime, um, I'll show you a little bit more about the, the button, there, there, the dealer button. There are four buttons, a bet button you use for putting people on the clock. Start pause for starting and pausing the timer. This is an up down arrow for making adjustments to your blinds levels and your blinds amounts as well as a P button for programming the button. So there was the one beep signifying that there's only one minute left in this blinds level. It will now count down to three seconds. It will beep three times for each second and then we'll have one loud beep at the end of the blinds level. Here's the back of the button. Here's the beeper. The beeper is fairly loud. Everyone at the table should be able to hear it. Even if you're away from the table, you should be able to hear it. The battery goes in here. dbdealer.com offers free lifetime battery replacements for this button. So there's no need to ever buy a, another battery again. DB Dealer will supply one to you free of charge. There's a ridge. 17 seconds left. There's a ridge around the edge of the button to keep the uh, the beeper from laying on your table and being muffled by the sound of your table. It's easy to slide around. So there's the end of level one and then now automatically proceeds on to level two which I have set to a 30 minute blind level. You don't really have to worry about people playing around with a button while you're using it as a timer during your game. There are four buttons on top of the, the dealer button. If you press the up down arrow key it does nothing. If you press the P it does nothing. Again the, the buttons are pretty well recessed into the uh, dealer button so you, you almost have to use your fingernail and apply pressure onto the button to do anything at all anyways. But these two buttons will do nothing if pressed by a player at your table. Start pause button will start and pause the timer of course. But there will be an audible beep. So the other players at the table should know this out immediately. And tell the person playing with the button to stop playing with the button. The only other button that can possibly cause some problems is the bet button. But again if a player presses that. It will simply begin a 30 second countdown timer and at the end of that time the, the beep will go off and uh, people will be able to hear it. But, but the overall blinds timer continues in the background so you don't really have to worry about this bet button going on. Uh, let's say you did have someone on the clock and they, they made their decision you want to get rid of this bet timer. Simply press the bet button again and as you can see the timer is still counting down in the background. So as you pass the, the button from dealer to dealer, from one player to another, you don't really have to worry too much about uh, the players at the table pressing a button that's going to mess up your entire tournament or stop the timer and you won't know where you're at. A customized version of the classic tournament dealer button is available. As you can see here we have your text logo or picture here. Through the dbdealer.com website, you can supply them with some graphics or some artwork or your name of your organization or your poker league, and that can be printed down here at the bottom of the dealer button. The cost of this, surprisingly, is only a couple of dollars. So if it were up to me and I was going to purchase one of these dealer buttons, I'd probably purchase a customized one with my own logo at the bottom, just to make it somewhat unique and to... Uh, to make sure that no one walks away with it at the end of the tournament. The customized buttons are available for $17.95 and there are discount uh, discounts available for volume purchases. Here's the packaging for the DB dealer, the retail version.
this is a sticker that's on top of the display as it comes shipped. The packaging and a small instruction sheet. So there's my review of the classic tournament dealer button from dbdealer.com. It's a fantastic little poker gadget for a price of $14.95. Most of the plain Jane dealer buttons that you'll find online cost about that much. This one includes a timer built into it. Extremely easy to use. You just power it on by pressing the start pause button. When you want to begin your tournament, you simply press the same button again. And the timer starts counting down. You won't have to probably touch the button again until the end of your poker tournament when you're finished playing. The only reason you might want to touch it again is to pause the timer while you make a, a ruling at the table that will take a couple of minutes to begin the timer. You press the same button again. It has a built-in uh, clock feature, or on the clock feature, where you can put a player on the clock and limit the amount of time that they take to make their decision. Very well constructed. It's not flimsy at all. It would easily withstand a drop to a rug floor from a poker table. It would probably even withstand a drop onto a tile floor. The display is easy to read, doesn't smudge up. Overall, it's a fantastic product and would definitely benefit anyone's poker tournament.